Hello. Accidentally had a sexting relationship with my brother on here, then kept doing it even after I found out. So, yeah, that happened. I am a 24-year-old female and my brother is 27. Around two years ago when I first joined Reddit on my old account I posted to NSFW subreddits a lot. I am fairly confident in my body and didn't mind showing it off at the time. Now that I have a boyfriend, however, my tune has changed on that subject matter. I'd post at least twice a day and get a bunch of messages. One guy kept commenting and messaging me, telling me I was sexy and how much he loved my body. For some reason I kept talking to him and we basically developed a sexual relationship and sexted all the time, but we never showed our faces. He was very nice and sweet to me even when we weren't talking about sex. Keep in mind that I was always very private about my identity because I didn't want anyone to blackmail me. I even made up a name and location as to where I lived. I thought it was a bit weird that this guy had the same name as my brother although my brother is very good looking and 10 out of 10 would bang if he wasn't my brother and lived in the same state, but figured it was simply a coincidence. For his birthday a few months after we met, he sent me a pic of himself without a shirt on and his magic stick erect and told me he wished I was there to suck him off and asked me if I liked the new tattoo he got for his 25th birthday. But I was. In the living room downstairs. Celebrating my brother's birthday. His 25th one. It was the same tattoo my brother showed me earlier that day. It was the same bathroom. Same shower curtains. Same hair products. Same perfume. Same toothbrush colors. Same everything. I was mortified, but I didn't stop. My brother really is a hot guy and I liked what he had below the equator. I couldn't help myself, so I continued to sext with him for a few more months until I told him I had gotten a boyfriend and could no longer do that with him. He understood and we went our separate ways. The worst part? I still touch myself to his pics on occasion. Edit, yes, this is real. As for the people talking about how we didn't recognize each other by the same house and such, I was in college and lived in a dorm room. It was not the room I had at my parents' house. My brother has a fairly plain room and sheets. I thought it was normal to have only white, black, and navy sheets. Yes I had seen my brother shirtless before, but I had never seen his dick and he didn't always show his full body in the pics he'd send. Edit 2, we would post the pics on Imager then send the link in private message. It's quite simple. I used to have incest fantasies when I was a teenager, daddy-daughter stuff. Now, I have an infant son and I feel disgusted. I'm a 23F and I am now married to a great guy, 29M. My dad committed suicide when I was 7 and I think that contributed to a lot of daddy issues. As I got older, I would read a lot of incest fiction stories and masturbate. When I turned 18, I would talk to guys on Craigslist who were obviously much too old for me in hopes of living out my fantasy. I would always chicken out at the last minute. I did meet a guy once who was around 50 for dinner. But I saw a girl I went to high school with and freaked out and left. I'm so glad I never went through with anything. Now. I have a son who is 3 months old and I just feel completely disgusted with myself for these fantasies. Usually role playing with men with myself being a minor. Sometimes, these thoughts still pop into my head but I can fight the urge now. I'm actually glad I had a son instead of a daughter so he isn't as likely to have these thoughts also. I fed my ex something he was allergic to. This happened years ago. Way back in the 90s I lived with the guy who allergic to eggs. So much so he wasn't vaccinated due to his allergy. That used to be a big deal, not being vaccinated. Anyway, I made meatloaf for dinner and not thinking I threw two eggs in there. We ate it, no big deal. Then as I was bagging up the trash, I saw the shells in there and panicked. OMG. I poisoned him on accident. I was really young and quite the people pleaser and just hated to upset anyone, so I didn't say anything. He was fine throughout the night, I watched for symptoms of an allergic reaction, nothing. Nothing the next day either, this is the confession part. When he didn't get sick from the eggs I accidentally used, I just started making recipes as normal. Cakes and cookies made with eggs. Meatloaf and meatballs made with eggs. Nothing. 
when we visited his mother she'd stress to me how very allergic to eggs he was. Absolutely can't have them. He'll die. She made a super big deal out of it. But, I'd been feeding his eggs for months. Then I found out what mayonnaise was made of, that guy slathered mayo on everything. He wasn't allergic to eggs. His mother made that up. I told him, he was pretty upset and didn't really believe me that his mother had lied. That night I made a whole dozen eggs in every way you can cook the things and he ate them all to prove me wrong. I agreed to watch him and call 911 if anything happened. Just a lot of stinky farts. That's all. The next day he wanted to try deviled eggs, and ate 24 of those. Just more farts. No allergic reaction. This is not an anti-anti-vaxxer post. Just what happened? He'd not been vaccinated due to his egg allergy, then caught mumps in high school. The fever from the mumps and the swelling of his glands caused him to be sterile. His mother made him sterile with her lie. He was so upset about it, he broke up with me for catching his mother in a lie and still to this day pretends to be allergic to eggs. I don't know if this really counts as my confession or not but something reminded me of that today and I felt like getting it off my chest. I have a fucked up sexual fantasy. I want to be molested. I fantasize about being a little boy and having an adult woman sexually violate me using force. I want her to squeeze my arms and pin me against objects while I squirm and cry and feel helpless, but she simultaneously tells me everything is gonna be okay and kisses my forehead. I want her to put her hand in my pants, grab my jaw and kiss me. Hit me, pinch me, shake me, ride me while she covers my mouth, whisper to me while she's holding me down, etc. Basically I want an abusive mommy dama. Goodbye.